first seven months in office, the new Dawn administration has recorded significant progress in many areas. Primary and secondary education is now free. Thousands of new jobs have been created for the health and education sectors. And the Constituency Development Fund, CDF, has been increased from 1.6 million to 25.7 million. All these initiatives are contributing to a brighter future for all Zambians. However, we know that much of the work is still ahead of us, including when it comes to reducing the cost of living for citizens. The new Dawn government is working hard to fix the economy through multiple channels simultaneously. The benefits of some of these initiatives are already starting to feed, in, feed through. For example, last month, the new Dawn administration was able to announce the funding of over 2,000 university bursaries using money recovered by the Anti-Corruption Commission to date. Other initiatives, such as our work on debt reduction and economic reforms, will take time to bear fruit, but are already gaining support from respected international institutions like the IMF, World Bank, and cooperating partners. Combined, our efforts will deliver significant improvements to our standard of living and help fund everything from social protection programs and job creation initiatives to improvements in public services such as healthcare. Today, we understand the frustration of Zambians who are suffering because of the rising fuel prices. We want to reassure them that we are doing everything we can to alleviate the situation. This includes extensive discussions and consultations with local suppliers regarding the matter, as well as support for international efforts to encourage increased production as a matter of urgency. Today's price rises reflect global shortages due to the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. While Zambia is not dependent on Russian imports, the conflict has had a significant knock-on effect to global prices. While we cannot fully escape these global trends, the impact is minimized thanks to our work to date to strengthen the economy and lower inflation, which has already reduced from 24.4% in August 2021 to 14.2% in February 2022. As we continue our work to, us to secure a significant sustainable reduction in cost of living, we have also scaled up various initiatives to help the most vulnerable citizens and protect them from the impacts. In real terms, this government has introduced one of the largest social safety nets in the history of the continent. The New Dawn administration has released $1.46 billion for social protection programs. The social cash transfer is being scaled up to reach over 1 million beneficiaries, with the value of transfer per household increased by 33% and the Food Security Park program has also been expanded. The new Dawn administration has also increased support for small businesses through 2022 budget in recognition that a thriving SME sector is essential for job creation and lower prices. This is an evolving situation and it is our hope that it will not be long lasting. Be assured that we will continue our efforts both to reduce external pressures on prices and to dialogue with the affected industries to ensure they are well supported. The new Dawn administration remains optimistic for the future for Zambia as it continues to focus on creating jobs, empowering youths and fighting corruption. I thank you all.